Hey guys, welcome back. Um, like I said, last video, I was away for a couple of weeks visiting my father up north. Um, I got back last Tuesday. Um, so I came out here yesterday. Uh, pile installs came. So I had to work on some of those. Uh, plus, um, uh, when I went up there, my <coughs> good friend Tony down at Telly, they had the Western Maryland Target Valley Division layout. He passed away about three months ago. So I went up there and uh, helped the family out dismantling the layout and I took all the locomotives back to my house and I'm going to eBay everything for them, uh, for the family. So um, I started to make a little memorial for him too here. So, so he actually uh, constructed this building. This building was on his layout. Um, I reminded my father's name on it. So I, <clears throat> I was able to grab that. And um, I had done this before I left. Uh, they had shipped me this uh, this structure, so I found a small little location on my layout, um, and this is basically f uh, for memorial for him. Uh, while I was there this last two weeks, I grabbed the, one of his Western Maryland cambooses. Um, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna clear out some landscape in there, put a piece of track in, put that caboose on it, put a little fence around it, a little walkway out. You know, just a nice little. I didn't really know what I was going to do up in this hill, but once I got all this stuff and started putting it together, I found it was a good place to put a little memorial for my friend. So um, so that's what's going on there. Not done with that yet, but that's the plan. So what I did do is I started, I wanted to get this ballast down in this yard because I got an opera session next Wednesday and I want this done. So I came out here today and I finished ballast and everything. Um, and I just glued it, so we're not touching it anymore until tomorrow. I'll be back and forth out here about 10 times today, clearing these, throwing these switches back and forth so they don't get, uh, I do this so they don't lock up with the glue. I just, you know, I just keep moving, clearing out. It's a lot easier to keep coming out here and doing this than to try to chisel these things loose later. So... That's, I've done this right along. I keep the po switch points in the middle so they're not touching either rail. You know, I don't have to worry about them locking up. But if I come out at like every hour, hour and a half and wiggle them, then uh, usually after about five hours, they won't stick anymore. So anyway. So, well, uh, I don't know. I think last time I did this, this was the original siding for the MOW equipment I have, but then as usual, me on my operation state of mind seized an opportunity to have another small industry, nothing big. Um, I got to cut a road in over here, a little lot, put a uh, shed and some power poles and um, vehicle in there to unload these hopper cars. So basically it's just a bulk unloading facility. You know, nothing, one or two cars in here, that's all. Uh, p and had a few of these in Rhode Island. So I figured I'd put one here. Um, other than that, like I said, I haven't been back long enough to really do much out here. That's the first thing. I did get my defect detector back. I got to remount that. Apparently the static, some static killed the board. So I'm going to be careful with this new rubber mat on the floor. Um, I also broke out this high and wide, this, uh, this high and wide set. I used to run this on my old layout. It's a nice little a nice little run, you know, deliver this. So something something extra to do. So I was in the box the other day and I seen it there, so I should take it out and get it going again. So that's as far as it's gotten right now. And the only other thing I've been doing is I put I, I put new sound decoders in these two New Haven locomotives for a friend of mine up north. Um they had soundtracks decoders in them and they They've been in there for a long time, and the decoders seem to be failing, so I took them out, put some ESU decoders in there with the capacitors, because he runs it on a club layout, and, you know, and club layouts, tracks are not always spotless like you'd like them, so with these new uh, capacitors built in, uh, onto the boards that are in there, right, you should have no problem running these things around the club layout. So anyway, so I just finished programming them now, so other than that, that's it for today. Uh, if I get anything else done, I'll come back with another video. So you guys have a great day. See ya.